So, uh, tomorrow is the opening for fall turkey season here in my area, and I'm very excited. I can't wait to try it out. The problem is I don't have a blind. <laughs> so the blind I was using, the Ameristep ground blind, I ended up moving up into the woods, deep into the woods, uh, where I'm planning to do my deer hunting. And I don't want to do my turkey, fall turkey hunting, because it's actually archery season right now for deer, but I'm waiting a little bit. I want to get turkey done with before I get into it, because I really want to, I want to hunt more of the rut. Um, so I'm holding off on that, and I don't want to hunt from the area that I'll be deer hunting. I don't want to be hunting turkeys, because then I'm just, I'll, there's too much activity. I want to keep that area pretty, like, chill. So the deer will not be freaked out and, and go someplace else. Because right now it's a hub of deer activity. I want to keep it that way. So, um, I need a place to hunt without a blind. <laughs> or I need a blind. So I'm going to create one. So the t I'm in an area, it's on my lower lawn. It's near my solar panel array. I see turkeys come through here daily. There's a hen group with juveniles that come through every single day and they walk right past here. Now technically I can do uh, a tom or a hen in the fall season where I am, but I think I'm going to avoid taking a hen maybe on the last day of turkey hunting season. If I feel, I'm feeling desperate and I want to get something, I'll take a hen. But my focus is really on this group of toms that comes through and they just came through this morning. At eight o'clock this morning, I saw them pass by. Then now they're in the, my front yard, not down here in the back. But that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. They're still on my property. And I mean, we're talking beards that are like six or seven inches long. So I don't know how that rates in terms of the amazing, I'm new to turkey hunting, but they're, they're you know, they're, they're mature males. So I want to, uh, I'd like to get one of them. So that's my target. Hopefully I'll get one of them instead of one of the hens this year. But anyway, I'm going to need, I'm going to need a blind. So I'm seeing this structure and I'm thinking, well, this is a perfect, turkeys go by here all the time. This kind of looks like a blind. It'll give me some protection from the wind and rain if it's raining. I just need to hide myself a little bit. So these, I actually bought three packs. This is a gigantic piece of camo canvas uh, that I bought at the end of hunting season last year on sale. So it was after, well, after season. And I have three things of it. And right now they're just sort of collecting dust and other awful stuff in my barn. So I want to take it out, see if I can create some kind of blind here with the solar panel and sit there for turkey hunting. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, we can go in there right now and just kind of get a feel for what it'll look like, uh, you know, peering out. And let's see if it's going to work at all before I start putting the work in. Okay, let's check that out. Yep. Yeah, this will definitely work. <laughs> so that area right there, here, uh, the turkeys always come through here and follow this path. So, or at least the, the hen and juvenile groups do. I don't often see the toms come through this side. They stick mostly to my front, but I'm hoping I'll be able to call them back here. I've read, see, I'm fairly new to turkey hunting, and I know that in springtime decoys are the thing. People seem pretty torn about using decoys in the fall season, but mostly because most hunters stay mobile in the fall, and I'm not going to. I'm going to try to call them to me. And, and it may fail, but I'm thinking about trying a decoy there, trying like a tom decoy, a juvenile. I guess maybe, maybe considered a jake. Um, see if I can bring the other, the toms down to that decoy. I'll at least try it one day. But that will be for the hunting videos. I'll be sure to record all that. Right now, I want to see if I can take that material and somehow hang it up here and make a little bit of a blind for myself. So, uh, truthfully, I have some reservations. <laughs> so I strung up the three pieces of canvas. Um, I'm going to be looking through this little opening here. There's the chair I'll be sitting in. And, uh, yeah, it's not perfect. But I'm going to give it a shot for opening day. And if it's bad, you know... I'll deal. I mean, certainly people hunt turkeys in far less. Um, I will be dressed in full camouflage, and I mostly just wanted this to sort of hide me a little bit. But I'll try to remain quiet and motionless and as hidden as possible for when the turkeys come by. So, uh, yeah, let's let's see how it looks from the inside before I get too, uh, too... Well, it is what it is, but I think this will work. You know, it at least gives me some cover. Um, that is more than enough space for me to shoot my bow through. I'll set up the decoy right about there. I gotta count out the paces so I know exactly how far it is. It's the great thing about using decoys is you can use it as a distance marker too to judge your shots. Um, so I'm gonna sit in this and I will attempt to get a turkey from it. So we'll just see how it goes. So please uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel because you don't wanna miss the video, um, my actual hunting videos, not just me playing around with camo ca canvas. Definitely subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all my hunting adventures and other homesteading adventures. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up 
And uh, I'd love to hear your comments below on the craziest uh, blinds you've hunted out of or the craziest situations. Um, and thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.